Usually when the weekend comes along, I have an idea of what bands I want to review. For example, the bands that I knew I was going to do were Seven Dust and Girls School, but usually every weekend I end up discovering these new bands from new metal releases, and I think it's almost every weekend when I discover something new. This weekend I discovered a new band, and that made my head explode. They're called Mutoid Man. They are a three-piece band. I guess you can call them a super group because they consist of members of other fairly popular metal bands. The original lineup is Stephen Brodsky on vocals and guitars, and he is in the band Cave In, which is a band that I actually discovered last year, and the album they released last year uh, was one of my favorites. Uh, they also have Ben Collar, the drummer from Converge. That's a very popular band, although I've never really uh, gotten into them, but I'm sure one day I will, and Nick Kajel, but... He was replaced by Jeff Matz from High on Fire, which is another band that I have listened to a little bit. They started in 2012 and have three EPs and three studio albums. Now, if you look them up online, they're going to give you a lot of different uh, genres, but I'm going to give you my uh, first impression, and that's like a mix of Voivod and Monster Magnet or something like that. They have elements of stoner metal, uh, psychedelic rock, and a bunch of other genres, but I guess it's a type of band that everybody will hear differently. I guess the thing with this band is that I listened to one song and it was like, you know, wow, this is pretty cool. I think I can get into this, so that's why I chose this for the review. This album has 10 songs and it was preceded by uh, three different singles, so let's talk about the songs uh, right now. Call of the Void is the first song, and this one had a music video where this guy introduces a band that goes on stage, and the band looks like they are some type of animatronic band with their facial expressions frozen and their bodies moving in a robotic fashion. This one had some uh, complex guitar riffs and reminded me of the band Voivod at first but also sounded a little like uh, the band Cave In. It was one of those songs that uh, mixed the complexity of extreme metal, but at the same time, it was a catchy song with a sing along chorus. As you watch the band in the music video, they start to morph into these cyborg-like creatures with their faces melting or something like computer wires coming out of their faces. It was very weird, psychedelic, and trippy. But like I said, uh, the music was super catchy, and you will be singing the chorus in your head after you hear it. Frozen Hearts is a sludgy type of song. It's like the sound of a swamp thing coming out of the bog. The vocals are uh, thick, or they kind of reminded me of like Voivod again. They uh, kept things interesting by changing the tempo and hitting you with some sick and chunky uh, guitar riffs. Uh, there are some faster paced riffs that uh, sound like some weird type of uh, futuristic surf music. Broken Glass Ceiling has some cool sludgy Black Sabbath style guitar riffs mixed with some groove sounds. It was kind of like Pantera, but at a slower speed. The song has a lot of uh, song textures and the vocals are pretty cool. They uh, change the vocal styles in this and they, are, uh, also, they also keep the song very melodic. The thing that stands out on this song is the use of the pinch harmonics and that kind of favors the heavy guitar sound. Song is not too long, but if you listen to the end, they have this really brutal breakdown and aggressive vocals where it goes to show that this band uh, really knows how to put a lot of ideas into one four minute song. Siren Song was one of the singles, and this was a slower, sludgy type of song with some thick and heavy guitar riffs and vocals that sounded like sludge metal. The bass guitar had a thick and beefy sound, and they played some interesting uh, guitar riffs. The song had a cool uh, foot-stomping kind of rhythm. They also delved into some extreme metal on the second half of the song with uh, some faster and aggressive uh, rhythms. Graveyard Love uh, was a fast-paced song which starts with a bass line, kind of reminds me a little of uh, like a Rob Zombie type of song where it's almost like the intro to a horror movie with some people like uh, you know, driving on this long road. Uh, the song then goes into this complex shredding guitar riff or something you would hear on like the Steve Vai type of solo album. 
This band likes to use tempo changes, so as you would expect, they have some slower parts and some isolated bass guitar runs. Unborn has some sludgy guitar riffs. It sounds like some type of evil creature returning from the dead, and you could hear some slow and heavy chunky guitar riffs that just chug along. At first I thought this was an instrumental because the vocals don't come in until about two minutes into the song, but once they do, they hit you with all of these uh, complex guitar riffs and complex drum patterns. They change uh, vocal styles with some cleaner vocals and some harsher ones. At the end of the song, they hit you with these uh, machine gun style drum fills, and it's just uh, pretty cool. Cypher is a pretty crazy song. The intro is very technical and it sounds very futuristic. It's almost like a robot going haywire and they follow it up with some sludge metal guitar riffs where they slow down the pace. The vocals are harsh in the second half of the song and they uh, continue with chunky guitar riffs. Uh, these uh, weird uh, futuristic guitar sounds are also added in. Demons was one of the singles and this one reminded me of stoner metal. The song started with a drum intro that went into some sludgy guitar riffs, but then the song went through some tempo changes. They sped it up and they played some more complex guitar riffs. Memory Hall is a song with a lot of chugging and that's how I describe it. I hear some of that Voivod influence and they have uh, clean and harsh vocals. The guitar solo is very interesting. It's almost like they're trying to play out of tune, but they're not, so it kind of sounds very unique. Setting Sun is the last song, and this one also has the longest uh, runtime of 5 minutes and 45 seconds. I was expecting this one to have a lot of uh, different ideas crammed into it, and it basically does. So the song starts off uh, with uh, a slow intro where they play some guitar chords and... They bring in a groovy bass line. After about a minute and a half, they speed up the pace. And it kind of sounds like uh, punk rock with a uh, bass guitar run and some surf music style guitar riffs. The song is interesting. They use some time signatures and they're able to make some uh, unique sounds with a guitar. Towards the end of the song, they speed it up with some crazy fast drumming and uh, high energy rhythms. Then in the last part of the song, they get uh, atmospheric by introducing some clean guitars and softer sounds. The vocals are more laid back and relaxed and that ends off the song. In conclusion, the album was surprisingly good. I think this is the type of album you need to listen to multiple times to appreciate. I think I listen to the singles the most because that's what YouTube kept putting in my playlist from the first time I started listening to this band. I really enjoyed this. I think if you're a fan of bands I mentioned uh, above, such as uh, Voivod, Monster Magnet, or even a band like Mastodon, I think uh, those would be some good comparisons. But other than that, the band is very unique. My score for this will be an 8 out of 10. I'm sure this will be on my best albums of the month for July video, which will probably be my next video. So let me know what you thought of this band. Uh, please like this video. It helps me with the algorithm. Please uh, subscribe. Please comment. And uh, I'm going to put another video right here. I don't know what it is, but it will be something. And uh, I will see you in the next one.